point I'm gonna have to get up early and photograph these deer because they're always very active early in the morning and uh, I don't think they've realized that I'm stood right here nor that the dog has stood right here I think the dog's about to lose her cool Good morning guys, back out doing my favourite, one of my favourite, I'd say this is quite a new favourite in the hand exercise of Sienna, which is in the field. We'll go for a little walk around it first, to just take the edge off her, because sometimes she can be quite excited about being in the field. Um, but we're very much trying to add in a bit of different terrain. Also, I'm quite lucky, I live on a hill, so no, don't eat the cut grass. Um, so it's quite nice to come and work on the hill. And I think it was one of you guys that actually mentioned doing like a little bit of um, kind of in hand work, rain back, that kind of thing, using the slope, which is definitely jolly this morning. Um, and so, like I say, initially, we just try and walk around to take the edge off of her because she's a little fiery in the morning. Um, but once she settles, I've really noticed it helping her working on the hill and really makes her use her hindquarters and have to sit a bit more and then getting a bit more shape over her back which is good, which is very good. But we have this battle, which is that obviously she's in a field full of grass, which she'd love to eat. So she tends to be a bit tricky to begin with until she realizes that we have got to work. Don't just eat the cut grass, you are naughty. She takes the lazy option. Um, it is a workout for me. <laughs> My goodness, working up and down this hill. It's hard work, as you can already see. I'm out of breath, but we do a lot of zigzags across it. A lot of going up and down, some circles, some rain back. Just doing some normal in-hand work, but using the hill to make it that little bit harder. I have sped the video up if you're thinking, wow, does she walk fast? Sadly, I don't walk that quickly. We already know that hill work has so many benefits for our horses. So to begin with, I'll always walk around the field once or twice to help with her warming up. And then I'll start doing some sort of shallow loops across the side of the hill. I'll then do some zigzags where I go all the way to one side and then back across the other and work my way down the hill, doing a little bit of rain back, some circles, some figure of eights, that kind of thing. So with hill work, it's going to really help develop the horse's hindquarters and improve their top line. Also, because they're going to have to balance themselves all the time, it's great for their core strength because they're always trying to stabilise themselves, which is why it's also great just to simply walk across the side of a hill and turn around and walk back the other way because obviously you want to make sure that the muscle develops evenly. Doing hill work is great for that. Um, I only ever do a little bit of rain back because that's quite hard for her to actually walk back uphill. Um, but again, really good for working those hind quarters. And yeah, and I just mix it up as we go throughout the session. But I quite like her head carriage. She's got quite a nice neutral head carriage, which I'm really pleased about. There are times when she stops and she sort of goes... Oh. This is quite hard and I'd say this so far seems to be the thing she finds the hardest. Kind of all the in-hand work on the arena, easy for her. But actually using the different terrain and a hill, I notice she finds that a lot harder. But I kind of have more, well, I definitely have more control over her if I'm doing hill work in hand um, compared to like if I was leading her out hacking off of corporal so this way I can kind of monitor the speed she's going I can be more cautious with like where her head and neck are um, I can obviously do more useful things like circles like going across the hill rather than just walking up and down it um, but I really like this here where she's walking back up the hill and you can see she's really dropped her neck the whole frame there is really nice which I'm really pleased about and yeah great for my fitness <laughs> really good start to the day it really gets me um puffing away like you could see in the previous clip because yeah it's hard work and then again with the circles I notice she doesn't tend to be so supple on the hill because it's that much harder for her um, I've got a little haul because why not I don't do shopping that often so I thought why not show you my it is, it is all kind of equestrian stuff haul um I have three whole packages it's that exciting uh won't be having any more packages for a while uh first up an Equiami. I did mention that I was going to get Sienna one. I picked this up second hand um, on eBay. It wasn't a huge saving, about 20 quid, but they did say it was in very good condition and it does look in really good condition. So it's a lunging aid for anyone that hasn't come across Equiami before. Um, it's meant to be better than a Pessoa and yeah, it's actually, they've even got 
CD and all of like how to use it. So that's quite impressive. Everyone's winning a lot in the background because Corporal currently is free ranging it wherever he fancies um, because his turnout pen does get a little bit hot. So I thought I'd give him the choice. He can go wherever he pleases, even into the hay barn if he fancies it. But I'm assuming they can't see him and that's why Billy and Sienna are winning. So anyway, the Equiami, which I'm gonna use on Sienna probably once a week just to try and help encourage her to stretch down over her back I don't think it's gonna be a long-term thing to use actually I think it's probably just gonna be until she kind of she does stretch but not all the time so just yeah that that's why we bought it next up is a super dry coat I have a thing about coats you know I always say this some ladies have handbags shoes that kind of thing I'm a coat girl I never enough coats in my life um, and there is a super dry outlet on eBay. It's just dangerous. It's a very dangerous place because they often have like really big reductions on things. And yeah, this coat was like £99 originally. I saw it on there for £24 and I was like, I can't leave it. And it's a, <laughs> it's a super bright colour because I'm going to use it out hacking. I've just seen it. it's a bit cropped. Why does super dry make all their clothing really cropped? Anyway, it's so bright that I thought that way everyone can see me. <laughs> Beautifully bright, definitely not needed today. Um, but I just thought for hacking, I like something, like I say, a bit bright. I seem to go through coats really quickly. Um, so yeah. What do we reckon? Oh, it's quite, quite a puffy coat, isn't it? Actually, I like it. And it's got a really good zip on it as well, like a really thick, strong zip. I think that's too bad traffic are going to see me coming plenty of room for all the jumpers underneath i'm going to need to wear under it so yeah 24 pounds so have a look on the ebay super dry outlet if you're on the hunt for something so finally this is from jet set equestrian which i've never used before but my goodness did they post this quickly i bought it saturday it arrived today and it's tuesday that is impressive going um two Highland Sweetich rugs, which I said in my last vlog about um, like doing September jobs and stuff, that it's a good time of year to buy kind of next year's fly rug and stuff in the summer sale. And yeah, quite the bargain, I must say. In fact, the fact that they said was 65, that was a pretty good price anyway, because most of the time these rugs are like 80 pounds online, but I love them. They last really well. Corporal can't be without one, so. That is why I picked up two. And in fact, randomly, there was only two sizes left and one was a five foot six and the other was six foot six. Normally you can never get the six foot six. So yes, very pleased about that. I then picked up this Tempest, it's literally a Shire's turnout rug. Um, again, it was 30 pounds down from, what was it, 60? Yeah. And I just thought it's too good a buy to leave. Um, and you know, they go through turnout rug fairly quickly. This is 100 gram as well, and I don't have 100 gram. I just thought it might be a useful, useful size to have. Um, didn't get choice on colour, I'm afraid, so let's hope poor Coop doesn't have to wear it. So it's a lovely pink and purple. But yeah, 30 pounds, what a bargain. And then finally, you lot did keep saying this to me, and I was like, no, I'm not doing it with a lick. I'd get it all over me, she'll be awful. I, I brought a lip to do the carrot stretches with because um, yeah, I thought, sod it, I'm just gonna have to get covered in lip, but always useful to have these. So yeah, my mini haul, quite expensive, but actually all things probably bar the coat I needed um, and got some really good prices. So got to be happy with that. I now need to go and take some photos. <sighs> I need to start outside. I'm just gonna do some hay nets to keep these guys happy, push Coop into his turnout pen. I'm not actually sure where he is. In fact, let's go and find him. Um, we had a, a hay delivery yesterday, and I thought I went for the two bales in the end because I thought it was too hot for haylage. They don't like it. It is a little bit different. I don't know if it's different. I mean, obviously a different feel, but I don't know if it's a different type of grass. But last night, it did not go down well. Most of the, both Sienna and Billy left quite a lot of grass. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. He's having a wonderful time. Most of the time he just stays out in the field, but he can eat the really good patch of grass. So it's just good for him to put a little bit of extra weight on. Um, Sienna doesn't need tons of grass, but Cork can afford to eat it. So yeah, it's hot and it's very bright. Good morning, guys. It's now Thursday. I hope you're having a good Sunday. I can see you itching behind me. This heat really made everyone very itchy, which is a shame. 
um, just they're all a bit scratchy and I keep washing them off but it's not quite doing it I'm, I'm I'll be honest I'm moaning <laughs> I'm moaning about the heat I'm a bit done with it beginning of the week was so nice wasn't it because the first thing was so fresh and actually like version a bit chilly and it was beautiful that was like Monday and Tuesday but since then it's just got really muggy and even hot at night now isn't it which is yeah it's just quite draining I think the sun is very draining anyway um, I am in the middle of mucking out at the moment and just fancied a break <laughs> literally um having an okay week we're not in the best week actually i'd say it's quite it's been quite frustrating um we had a hay delivery this week this is one of the things that really always stresses me out we had a hay delivery this week and the hay's been very good from the farmer that i've got it from for the last oh, i don't know probably since may and these bales arrived and i don't know how brown they look on camera but they're quite brown i do have fussy horses they're fussy eaters they always have been but you know when you smell hay and you want it to smell really sweet and like appetizing this stuff does not it doesn't smell bad it just doesn't really have a particularly sweet smell or like a eat me smell <laughs> not that i eat hay very regularly you know but it just doesn't have the best smell um and it's really dusty like you know when you put it into like a water soak and the dust clouds just come off of it and i was like mm. so i kind of contacted them and because I've been so pleased with all the other hair, I contacted them and I was like, is there a possibility to get them replaced or they're just not not the greatest quality? Like, did it really nicely because, you know, don't want to set the farmers. And um, they were just really kind of, they're quite rude actually. And they were just like, no, the hay's perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, it's nothing compared to their last lot of hay at all. And the horses won't touch it. The fact that both Billy and Sienna are leaving hay at night, like a good half of what they've been given is just shows how rubbish it must be and the court just doesn't touch it at all and that then stresses me out because obviously i can't afford court not to eat um so now i've got a dilemma the fact that i've got two massive the most annoying thing as well is i it was only very last minute did i change it to two bales i was only going to have one so not only have i got two bales worth of hay of money down the drain i've also got to somehow get rid of it it's not the sort of hay you can manhandle because you know they are beefy bales so you need a bit of machinery to move them around. Oh, so I'm a bit peeved about that. Oh, very low, helicopter going very low. I'm a bit peeved about that. So now I'm gonna to have to decide whether to get on and contact my haylage person. If he wants to deliver haylage in the next few weeks, if so, I've still got to get rid of these. <laughs> and um, yeah, all in all, I'm a bit gutted about it really. And it just stresses me out when I know, especially when it's hot and they're coming in a bit earlier. You know, it's nice to, to give them food they want to eat. Instead, they kind of look at me and go, we don't want this. And I don't like that. So I'm a bit gutted about that, to be honest. And plus, you know, it is money down the drain. So just looked in the camera and thought, ah, humidity's already got to my hair. <laughs> the hair's already sticking up on end. I think you guys are probably quite used to the way my hair looks now. Always going to look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Always have them. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, dear. It's probably also why I'm really tired. So it wasn't last night. It was the night before. It's making me laugh, but it's not funny. It was horrible, actually, but it, it is funny. So I've mentioned before that the neighbours behind me are... They've got a lad, and he's quite irritating, and he's just a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, and the other night, I was woken at 1.15 in the morning by someone singing. I was like, what the hell? Like, woke up, dog was barking. And it was him next door, and he was going round his garden, on a bit of, like, a big loop around the garden, singing. A little bit of rapping as well, I'd say, was in there. Um very out of tune i'm laughing because it was very out of tune like he was doing some very high pitched bits um and he'd go from like rapping for a bit and then suddenly jumping into a really high pitched song i'd be like oh by me half an hour half an hour of singing look who has a clean sparkly new rug on is there anything better than putting a new rug on your horse she's not gonna look like that by later today white as anything that's how that rug ends up looking. <laughs> um, I just couldn't be bothered to keep looking at that manky, stained, stinky fly rug that she had. So I thought, you know what? We'll put next year's rug on. Not sure any flies are going to be landing on her. She's so bright. Anyway, poor Mr. Cute was a bit foot sore, actually. I think where he's broken off a bit of hoof from taking his shoe off and then um, just, you know, walking around the field and a bit across the gravel. He's just made himself a bit footy. So I'm going to give him a few more days off and then hopefully on the weekend... Might be able to ride him. Oh, I see they've had a whole week off. Lucky boy. Look at that grass. Happy ponies. Happy, happy ponies makes me happy. 